In the first two videos, we've already seen how control painting by suggesting areas that you want to protect from seams and suggesting areas that you'd like seams to be attracted to can help us control our UV layout in the unwrap of our model. For this model, we're going to do something slightly different. First, I'll just do an unwrap to see how things look. And then we'll click Flatten. So again, this is a clean, evenly spaced unwrap, but perhaps we're not happy with where our UV seams have been laid. So I'm going to click Unflatten, and I'm going to click Check Seams. So maybe along the face here isn't the most favorable place. As we saw in the two original videos, we can simply enable control painting and paint areas we want to protect and areas that we'd like to attract seams to. But there's another option here. I'll click Enable Control Painting, and I'm going to click Attract from Ambient Occlusion. This is going to analyze the ambient occlusion of your model. So I'll click that now. And it's going to paint the areas of that ambient occlusion in that attract color. So seams are going to be most attracted to the ambient occlusion of your model. So now that we have this set up, I'll simply perform another unwrap. Again, after each edit you make, whether it be protective painting, attractive to seam painting, or erasing, you're going to want to make sure that you click Unwrap again. Again, we still have Check Seams active, but we can see that those seams have now repositioned themselves to be based on the ambient occlusion of the model. So we can see the seams tucked underneath the arms here. So I'll do another flatten. And we have another unwrap. And just as before, to see how evenly spaced things are, I'll unflatten. We'll go down to our texture map pull down, turn the texture on, and I already have one of these checker textures selected. You have several different ones that came with UV Master. And we can see that even spacing across the UVs.